Hi, this is Mary. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my 2025 home management planners. I listened to your feedback from last year and I decided to offer a simplified planner version this year. So um, for just a little bit more than the cost of just the planner pages themselves, you can get this um, clear poly cover and clear rings and um, I think a lot of people will, will really like this. Of course, I'll still um, offer the planners that have my tab dividers. I love making these tab dividers. Uh, making planners is one of the, my favorite things that I do. I just really enjoy everything about it. Um, and so I'm really excited to show you these today. So um, I'm gonna just jump ahead just a little bit to show you the difference between in the weekly planning sessions, this is the version where you select no HM prompts. HM just stands for home management. And when you don't select that, all other pages are the same, except in these weekly planning views, there's no prompts written. Whereas, I'll show you in just a minute, but in um, the home management prompt version, I give you um, an idea of when to do cl um, cleaning tasks and laundry tasks. So, but everything else about the planner is the same. There's still the um, page here where you can create your weekly routine and fill it in yourself. So, um, anyways, I hope you really like this new version. And um, yeah, let's get going. So, the one I'm gonna be touring for you today is the Preppy Coastal Tab Dividers. I um, hand make these um, here in my home. Um, I really like this navy and the white, so that's kind of why I chose it um, for this video. Um, this one happens to not be double-sided, it's just white on the back, but I think every other tab divider is actually double-sided this time. So, um, yeah, I hope you like the selection. I just love the, the clean cleanliness of this one. I probably didn't say that right, but I that's why I called it Preppy Coastal. It just kind of reminded me of just like, I don't know, having things so-so. All right, so I'm gonna go page by page and show you what's inside. So we start with the weekly routine. Um, this is where you can use my suggestions and my help to create your own weekly routine. And, and then I've got the household checklist where you can um, go through and schedule out and plan and, and check off when you declutter, deep clean, organize and decorate various rooms. And then the household maintenance tasks. Um, these are things that need to happen in your home and you can just kind of use this as your reminder to get through them. And there's of course some blank spaces for you to add your own. And here's some helpful info to keep track of and have handy, as well as project goals, gift ideas, important dates, and the annual snapshot. I personally love this animal annual snapshot. I almost said animal snapshot. Um, annual snapshot because it um, is a great place to kind of see the year in what at once and plan your vacation, see when holiday breaks and see like, oh, how far apart for spacing. Um, I just think this is really helpful for planning. All right, now we're going into the monthly planning pages. You can see. I'll kind of skip ahead because the months all kind of, you know, look this same except for you know the different dates all right and then after the monthly planning we go into weekly planning so it starts at the end of this year because the next week begins the January 1st as you can see I was showing you before um, where the other one had was clear these actually have the prompts listed and let me take a second to kind of show you what those are so I lay out a plan to just kind of take the guesswork out of for you, out of it for you, and just try to make it as easy as possible. Um, when you kind of just divide your cleaning and have a simple task every day, your home always is just kind of clean enough and you just don't have to stress about cleaning. Um, it just, it doesn't become the focus. It kind of just gets to go on autopilot, which I think is really useful. So for this, I suggest for cleaning, you. Uh, clean your kitchen on Monday, do some dusting on Tuesday, bathrooms on Wednesday, um, floors on Thursday, 
and then your household list on Friday. So that's, of course, going back to this and seeing what do I need to do. So that's your opportunity to go back and do that. And then for laundry, there's, I suggest, Monday towels, Tuesday clothes, Wednesday clothes, Thursday towels again. Friday, I've actually just left open. Um, I just put laundry and then a blank so you could add what you needed. And then um, Saturday to do the bedding. And then on um, the other things that are added are meal planning on Monday. Of course, this corresponds with the meal planning section. And then the um, household management session, which is just kind of sitting down with like your mail, going through your bills, paying things, returning phone calls, making appointments, um, returning emails. Just once a week, you sit down and just kind of make sure you're caught up with all that important stuff. So you kind of get to forget it the rest of the week. Um, kind of blocking things like that really helps my brain um, kind of keep things going um, so that I'm not feeling scattered all the time, feeling pulled in a million directions. And then on Sunday, you plan the week ahead. That's one of my favorite things to do. I've already personally planned. It's Sunday right now while I'm filming this. I've already planned the week ahead because that's just my favorite thing to do. Um, yeah, so this is, you know, there's going to be a page for every single or yeah, for every week. And I'll kind of skip ahead. This is of course the biggest section of the planner. Um, if you wanted, the great thing about Disc Bound, if you wanted to make a lighter planner to carry around with you, you could take half the year, separate it out, and then um, add it back in when you're ready for those pages. Or likewise, when you're done with weeks, you can pull them out and um, have a lighter planner. All right, and just, it's probably a good idea to just show you how easy it is to use the disc bound pages. They just come in and out so nicely. That's why I love this system. Um, so this is the daily planning section and the planner includes uh, 10 of these pages. Um, you can get more or of course, if you, um, by the download, then you can print as many as you want. Um, these, I do not use a daily planning page every single day. I reserve these for those really busy days where I feel like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to go from here to here to here, keep track of so much, where am I going, what am I doing? And so I can, in this view, I can plan at a higher, more detailed level. And of course, on the side, what am I doing? What do, I, I kind of split out to-dos that are just for me versus my home. And home might include what I need to like thaw beef for dinner, you know, um, and then errands that need to be ran. All right, and then the next section is the, um, of course, the budget planning section. And there's some useful pages here. You can create a bill and payment schedule. What's the bill? What month have you paid that month what's the amount coming in and any notes about it and then debt payoff calendar so that could be useful if you need that help um, budget help if you've never created a budget before i've got some ideas for you to get started and then of course here's the budgeting pages you've got the um, tracker here and then the income and expenses over here and there's you know, a section for each month, of course, or not a section, but pages for each month. And then at the back of this, there's extra tracking pages. So you can just fill those in when you need to. All right, and then the next section is the meal planning section. And here is a place to list out just some of your favorites. So I don't know about you, but when I go to meal plan, I can't even remember what I cooked that week. Suddenly my mind goes blank. So if I have something like this where I can be like, oh yeah, here's our old faithfuls and make sure I include some of those each week. It just tends to make things go easier. And of course, a place to track kitchen staples in your fridge, freezer, or pantry. And then this was, is a fun one that um, not everybody uses. Some people rip these pages out and some people love this, but this is a way to track what you made for dinner every single day of the year. Um, a few years ago, I actually um, filled this out all year and it was so fun at the end of the year to see what I made that year. Um, 
I do not always use this part myself, but it's, it's there if you think that that would be fun. And then of course the grocery list and menu planning pages. And these are, yeah, these are good ones. I, I've been using this page for so many years. I actually would not know how to live without this if I had to go back to just a regular piece of paper. Um, so there's a spot here to track your menu and then just kind of these different sections help you know as you're writing down what you need, then you actually go to the grocery store. It's so easy to be like, okay, well, I'm in the produce section. What am I getting here? I'm in the fridge, or, or the fridge section and or the deli and because I kind of do deli and fridge together. And then the freezer and of course pantry and household items. This is so useful. And there are 12 grocery lists and menu pages. And of course you can order backups or you can um, print and create yourself. And then the last section is the note paper. And I am not sure if I have the lighting right in this video for you to see, but this is like these little dots right here are red and then the lines are medium blue because for some reason when I created it, I just felt so inspired by just regular school paper. And I find these sheets really fun to write on. It just makes me think I'm back in school making my little lists and doodling like I used to. All right, and that is the 2025 Home Management Planner. Um, and I hope that you will um, consider trying this out. I, I think this is the best planner out there. Of course, I'm not biased at all, but um, I really hope you enjoy it. Um, thanks, bye.